Hello and welcome to the last lecture of uh, migration. We will be discussing a few things which we have uh, left in between or certain things to polish our understanding about migration. But before we start, if you remember, these were the topics which we have already discussed. Like there is a need for clean drinking water. Uh, there is also a need for uh, proper electricity. Uh, we also talked about garbage disposal and uh, we also talked about bio toilets and open spaces. So these were certain things which we have already discussed or uh, have touched upon in the last couple of lectures uh, on migration. Uh, this, is, this lecture is going to give you another analysis or another uh, or a few topics which we require uh, in order to um, say uh, develop or design these architectural spaces. Now, as you understand that uh, migration has become a very complex and urgent challenge, which uh, um, in fact government or uh, the governance is facing, but also it is a challenge for architect uh, architectural or say architects or people who are designing uh, and so on. <clears throat> now, given that understanding, and this is uh, a very important thing, that given that understanding, there is a need to think um, differently from conventional architecture, right? Because when we talk of a city or a village or say any rural or urban understanding, we have a different way of thinking about it, like what we need to design, how we need to go for it, and uh, what should be our uh, idea because we understand the local place we understand the local understanding we also understand the culture of that place the uh, the so-called uh, history of that place and given that we design this is uh, not in accordance with the understanding of migrants when it comes to migration uh, or people who are migrating and as you have seen that usually the economy, because uh, economy is uh, going to play a very, very big role in uh, migration. Because if suppose somebody is moving out from one place to another place because of ecology, or somebody is moving because of economy, or even if somebody is moving because of persecution or something, all these things actually account to the economy of the person because uh, the, you will understand that the person who is moving from one place to another place as a migrant uh, is not going to be a well-off, uh, is not going to be well-off from the economic understanding, right? So the first and foremost uh, thing which we need to understand is that we need to provide them with low-cost, uh, say, buildings, right? So whatever kind of things which we are developing, it has to be low cost. Now, why I'm saying that it has to be low cost? Because initially any person is not able to accommodate or uh, say manage a very, uh, I will say, <clears throat> very, uh, what is the word for it? Uh, uh, something uh, which, you know, people will not have plenty and they cannot manage uh, a Beverly Hills kind of thing, right? Or uh, even if there is Beverly Hills, but then you will find that if there is a need to accommodate a workforce, so you will require some cheap accommodations or some cheap uh, places where people can put up and uh, they can do uh, uh, or provide the services. So uh, the economy of the person needs to be understood and you need to provide sustainable, low cost architectural uh, solutions to these people. So this is the first thing that we should uh, always think of low cost buildings because if you create something which is uh, just like uh, lavish, then it is not going to be affordable for them. So this has to be the first thing. Now, if you talk about the second thing, because with low cost buildings, there is another requirement that it also has to have low maintenance, because this is also something which we usually do not take into account. If it's a low cost building and it is having a high maintenance, then again, the purpose is not going to be served, right? Because 
who affords a low cost painting or who is planning to put up at a low cost uh, understanding who also uh, those kind of people will also not have enough for uh, say proper maintenance and uh, very regular maintenance like uh, if i stay in, in beverly hills i can always make certain changes uh, in my uh, say space but uh, if a person who has come as a migrant to a place uh, then he or she will not be in a position to go for uh, maintenance and especially regular maintenance because maintenance cost is also very high and even if the maintenance cost is low for that matter still the least amount of maintenance if if you can if you can provide with something which is having low maintenance very very low maintenance then that is something which is more adopt uh, more adaptable for them and they can adopt it easier in an easy fashion so these are certain things which has to be there in the minds of people that those people who are going to be migrants does not matter in whichever category they fall they will be always economically challenged section of the society so once they are economically challenged section of the society you need to provide them low cost buildings as well as low maintenance houses so this is something which needs to be understood by us if we are planning something for them then there is uh, another important thing look a person is a person who is uh, having some personal identities and is also a person who is having some uh, group identities now usually the people who will be migrants most of them will leave their families behind and come okay if they are facing a persecution or something all of them will run away or if there is an ecological disaster most of them will run away but usually if you will see that there is a big class of people who are uh, coming from like one member or two members are coming from a family and not the whole of the family is coming they go to some other location and the working uh, people who are eligible to work uh, usually for petty uh, works they will migrate so what kind of thing which you will uh, require is that you need to create single apartments so this is another thing which you need to understand that in case of bigger houses or say bigger accommodations okay there will be definitely a need for uh, families also to come over but single apartments or single accommodations are going to be another keyword or another buzzword for uh, our understanding that if we are building something for from the migrants understanding so they will require some kind of single apartments then as i told you that uh, they uh, or these people will not belong to the same culture to which they are coming or to the same place to which they are coming maybe also from a different religion altogether so places of worship look this is another important thing places of worship also needs to be created for them because even if we have come to the 21st century we are binded and bounded by religion and uh, religion plays a very important role in our lives so it is not the case that we have left religion behind and uh, we have uh, say moved on we still hold on to our religion and our communities and so on so given that understanding these places of worship is going to be a very important entity uh, for anybody's survival so you need to uh, say create design or uh, even build uh, places of worship for them if they belong to completely different culture i remember that uh, many a times uh, whenever we have been uh, uh, visiting institutions uh, institutions of higher learning you will find inside those uh, institutions of higher learning a lot of places of worship because people do um, go for worshiping they require prayer halls they require um, say temples and mosques and uh, churches and synagogues and so on so they will like to uh, go to those places and you know um, say worship and so on so if they belong to a completely different culture or if they come to a place where uh, certain things are not there so you also need to uh, get these things for them because that is also a requirement 
Now, uh, these are certain things which I think is uh, going to be um, important or it's something which you will require uh, to think when you will uh, like to or when they will get accommodated to these kind of places right so this is one important th these are few important things which i wanted to bring that we need to think of these things now i was talking about one thing more that is a person is a person who exists as an individual and uh, he also he or she exists also as a group entity now this is a group entity kind of thing but individual spaces is also something which is required but as i told you that um, not many will have uh, um, the ability to sign in to a say more comfortable more lavish or more luxurious place so they will require smaller apartments and so on uh, but uh, given that understanding common places I will write it as common places. You can understand it from a lot of perspective. Common places needs to be developed. Now, what I mean by common places? It can be a park. It can be an open space. It can be anything for that matter. Where or like, like, like uh, nowadays, when whenever you travel to a shopping mall or something, you find that uh, like uh, if, if you go to a multiplex or sorry, say a shopping mall, sorry. So, multiplex will be there in a shopping mall. So, if you go to a uh, shopping mall and you see the uh, restaurant section of that place or if you see the food court of that place, so what you will find that uh, there are different counters and they have a common place uh, where people sit and dine together. You, know? you can take uh, food from say McDonald's and sit with somebody uh, in Domino's uh, or you can take from one place and go to another place, move here and there. You just need to take and everything is self-service and so on. These ideas are basically ideas which have, um, which took us out from that hotel understanding where you need to be served and somebody will come and take your order and this and that and so on. You need to go alone. You need to order you need to take the food when the buzzer will be there like okay this is the order number so you go and collect the food and then you take it in your own hands this is very well packed and this and that you bring it to wherever the space is you can sit with somebody who is dining in some other restaurant because uh, it's just a counter right so the understanding of common places are basically like that that there is a common place I can also sit over there to have a glass of water for that matter or uh, something, right? Or um, I'm not eating or I, I, I got some food from outside. Sometimes the mall people also allow you to take uh, your own food. Nowadays, you can always carry your own water. So sometimes like suppose I'm working, I'm, I'm working in that mall and uh, I am a person who works in some company or some uh, say shop. So I can enjoy my food with uh, a person who is dining over there. Like my friend came over, I said that, okay, I have my own food, but you can order your own food and come over and sit. Why I'm saying this? Because these small, small differences, these small, small changes which you make to our environment also makes it like this self-service concept has bring people together in so many ways which you do not understand or which we have still not uh, you know fully understood because it has uh, changed the scenario between or say uh, say equated the differences between the rich and the poor or maybe because affordable food good food you know uh, in most of the western countries there is uh, if you are dining in uh, say mcdonald's or if you are dining in starbucks it does not make much of a difference right because uh, that is affordable for most of the people over there in our country maybe it is still not affordable for many people but uh, in us or in developed countries starbucks and mcdonald's are uh, one of the biggest chains biggest multinational companies food companies of this world and are affordable to everybody so the rich the super rich also goes and enjoy mcdonald's and uh, say starbucks and the same goes for a normal person right so we all go we can all enjoy uh, starbucks or mcdonald's now this understanding has uh, taken the barrier off 
and say people who are migrants or people who are refugees for that matter i will uh, come to the refugees and all these uh, things a little bit later but uh, if you create such an, such kind of uh, such kind of environment and this is very important for all of us to um, say think that how to create an environment where people irrespective of their religion irrespective of their communities irrespective of their languages irrespective of their say economic strata can come together and dine come together and do something right because this is how you will create the better world you will create the next world for all of us so that is something which is important for all of us and something which i wanted to bring there is one point more which i will like to bring uh, uh, apart from that that these people actually become a diaspora you understand what is a diaspora diaspora is like people from one community who are staying in another uh, say place right so there are certain diaspora requirements i have talked about it or i have um, touched on that even in the last lectures or so so like there is an indian diaspora in uh, united states of america or all these people who are sometimes in india we use this terminology called um, the the what is the word for it uh, that uh, these people are nris right so we use this terminology is that uh, nris have said this nris have said that and so on not everybody is an nri for that matter uh, but uh, the common terminology these days uh, is nri in fact government of india used to divide it into pios and ocis and nris and so many things more but nowadays all the uh, oci and the pio has been made into oci and in fact everybody is nowadays called as an oci that is overseas citizen of india so any any person who is going from one place to another place forms a diaspora and once they form a form a diaspora so there are certain architectural requirements as well like uh, they may require a cultural place right because in their place certain things happen in certain way so what kind of things like uh, they may celebrate certain kind of festivals for that they may not only require a religious place or a place of worship but may also require something more they may require a community center they may require certain things look initially you need to think about these things right but slowly and slowly you will think see that these places of worship these common places the requirement of diasporas as well as that there are certain uh, people who want to be like uh, with this understanding that they have certain of uh, their own identities which they will like to say uh, maintain or who will uh, like to you know uh, secure them right or conserve them so given that understanding also you need to think about those things as well so planning is very important so it's not blinded by an understanding that okay i will keep this and i will keep that and i will make the city look like this or look like that and i'll give this kind of touch and that kind of touch it is very important also to understand the requirements of human being and design because sometimes we are all we are very much you know Uh, the aesthetics will always play a role the history will always play a role you know if certain things are shaped in certain fashion so we will always like to create that uniformity because it has been told to us that this uniformity and this and that gives a very uh, uh, beautiful touch to this you know because if you will have an aerial view or something it will look amazing good but that is secondary that is tertiary the most important thing for any 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 person from any um, say designing or any planning kind of thing uh, is to create an environment where human beings can live peacefully human beings can forget their differences it should be a conflict free environment and moreover they enjoy living over there and they do not have complications right so given that understanding or given this these things if you have in your mind or if we have in our mind we can always design places which are more uh, accommodating which are more practical pragmatic by nature and which human beings will love to be in
right so this is all from my side regarding migration and so on we will be discussing a little bit of migration more uh, with the understanding of refugees uh, and their settlements uh, and the designing and the so-called issues related to that uh, as well and uh, in the later part of this course that means after a few uh, say maybe a couple of lectures more we will be uh, concentrating on the research design of a sociological study okay so thank you very much for watching